Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Sprocket yet again, and today we're actually back with this tank that we created last time. Now, if you guys watched the previous video, you'll notice that I actually really like the hole that we built on this thing, but what I didn't like was the actual turret. So I think what we're going to do today is redesign the turret, try and make it look a little bit nicer, and go from there. So, let's go ahead and get on with it, shall we? Okay, so I've modified it a little bit already. I have taken the turret off the top, and what I want to do from here is I actually really want to try this. I don't know whether this is going to work or whether we're going to have to go back to this afterwards. We'll see. Uh, but essentially, I need to grab every back end piece of this, and I want to go ahead and stretch it backwards. Hopefully that doesn't destroy everything, but it does seem like it does destroy some things. Uh, that's not too terrible though, and it has extended the tank a little bit. Which is kind of what I wanted to do, so I'm actually really happy with this. Uh, what we're going to do from there is we're going to go to crew. I'm going to go ahead and go to both of these, and I'm going to go ahead and make those a little bit wider as well. Uh, essentially just to fix what I messed up, and I think I have. I think that honestly looks pretty good. From there, we're going to go to mobility. I'm going to go ahead and drag these guys backwards, and uh, I guess that's actually it. There we go, so we're going to leave that like this. Um, the other thing is the road wheels. I'm going to go ahead and space them out a little bit too. Bam! There we go. Honestly, I think that looks a little bit better, and that's exactly what I wanted. Anyway, we're gonna move on now to try and fix, or try and figure out, how to build a better cannon, or a better turret, I should say. So let's go ahead and whack this on here straight away, that is awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and actually put that in there like that, and the diameter is actually gonna be really big. Uh, which maybe it should be, maybe it shouldn't be, who knows. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and bring this out to the sides. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and drop this down, which might be a little bit weird, but that's okay. Actually, let's do this first. And then I'm going to go ahead and extend this guy like this as well. Bring it forwards. I'm going to obviously squidge this piece too, because I need to. And then what we'll do from there is we'll grab this piece. We'll do this kind of thing. Yeah, okay, awesome so far. We're going to go ahead and grab this guy and send it backwards like this. Send that bit, bit a little bit backwards too. There we go. And that is awesome. Okay, cool. So, go to faces, let's go ahead and extend this guy forwards. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do this, but essentially I'm going to extend this bit backwards. I'm going to bring it upwards a little bit. Actually, just grab this guy and bring this bit upwards. Just a little bit, like this. And then we're going to extend it like so. There we go. I'm trying to make it look a little bit more American. And I think this is somewhat doing that, kind of. So we're going to extend this guy backwards over the back end. Going to squidge it down as we go. Lift it up just a little bit more. Drop these guys down until they fit a little bit better. And yeah, that looks more like it to me. Because I feel like it should be a lot more squared off than it was. Uh, and this definitely, definitely squares it off. So there we go. Okay, nice. Go ahead and whack that backwards a little bit more. Squidge it a little bit more. And yeah, that looks awesome. That actually looks really good. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to extend this bit a little bit further forwards. I'm going to drag the entire thing backwards a little bit. And that suits me uh, a lot, actually. It suits me loads. I'm then going to go to edges. I'm going to split it. And then I'm going to go to this. I'm going to split this one. I'm going to split this one. And I'm going to go to faces. I'm going to grab this guy and this guy. And I'm going to push those backwards. Just like I did previously on the other turret. Hopefully that looks good. I think it does. I'm then going to go ahead and grab all of these guys around the edge. Same with this edge as well. And I'm going to extend those guys upwards. That is very weird, actually. It's kind of strange, but yes, I want to extend only the outside ones, uh, just like so. And I want to squidge them, but I don't know how this is going to work. It's not really, is it? It's not going to work. So I'm going to have to grab each one of these and squidge those independently. Um, if I can, how do I do this? I don't know how to squidge them. <laughs> I genuinely don't know how to squidge them, uh, which doesn't make much sense. But yeah, I, I want to. I can't. Never mind. Okay, so they're going to all angle in like this. I'm going to go into these guys on the inside, and I want to drop all of those down if I can. So that's going to go like this. Um, yeah, okay, that's probably fine, I guess. I then want to go to the edges on the inside as well, and I want to try and push those out. So I'm going to do this. There we go, awesome. Then only going to do these guys without the last one. Okay, good. And then I'm just going to go ahead and do this guy and this guy, and extend those bits outwards as well. That's giving us a nice little area on the inside, which means that it is open-topped, which is exactly what I wanted. I'm actually really pleased with this so far. 
Okay, so now that we've done that then, let's go ahead and try and figure out what to do with this area right here. Because I, I actually really don't know. I feel like we're going to go with mantlets. We're probably going to go with the same one. Unless we end up using this, which I would love to do, but it's not really... It's not really going to fit in there very well. Unless I do try and make it fit. So let's say we put that there like that. We go to compartments, we go to edges. We grab this one and we split it. Okay, this might work, it might not work. So... Is that... Is that working? Split. It's not allowing me to split this, and I don't know why. Maybe it's because this is here. So, go back to compartments. Now split it. It's not letting me split it. It's not letting me split it. No, 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 no. I can't split these ones. Why? Alright, that splits. This just doesn't split. It's not letting me split it. That's really, really frustrating, because I need to. I actually really need to. Um, the other way around it, I guess, is to actually increase the height of this. Uh, diameter of this can come in a little bit. There we go. Then the height of this can come upwards quite far. That's fine. And then all I need to do from there is grab this guy, smash it onto there so that it fits in. Uh, just like so, kind of. Bring it backwards till it fits in a little bit better. And then sort out the top edge as well, because clearly that's not perfect. That is not good. Um... I guess we could actually do it like this. If I extend these guys all outwards, there we go. I can bring these guys forwards like so. I can then actually just bring these guys backwards like this. There you go. And I need to do that on both sides. Yeah, and then I need to actually grab this guy, 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 and this guy. And maybe even these ones as well. And I need to do this. Okay, that is ugly looking. Ugly looking, but I think it works some sort of I don't know what's going on here But this guy is higher than everything else Anybody know why this has happened? Let me know in the comments down below, but this looks weird <laughs> This looks very weird. Maybe this one's too high as well and drop those down. There we go Okay, so I think that actually is a nicer ish looking turret um, And I'm actually kind of pleased with that. That's good. I'm a thickness of this guy is gonna be higher uh, obviously, we can't fit very much in the actual turret itself, but that's okay. We can get away with this. We can. So, if we go to Commander's Coupler, we're going to go ahead and shove this on the floor like so. I'm also going to go ahead and squidge it down uh, again, just like so. And I'm going to go to these guys, get one of these, and I'm going to make it very small so that it fits on these. If possible, there we go. And I'm going to go ahead and make them wider as well by a lot. So, there you go. If I can, I'm also going to go ahead and level them too. Which I'm not sure we have a level. But I'm going to do that anyway. There we go. Good. And I'm going to try and fit many of these, or multiple of these, into the same place. So there we go. Nice. Uh, I do need something that resembles like a breach. And I feel like maybe a Commander's Coupler will do it. I don't know whether it will. No, I can't actually angle that. That's annoying. Um, but what maybe I could do is this. Put that on. Can I twist it round? Is that something I can do? Yes, it is. Okay, so I'm going to do this kind of thing. All right, actually, re replace that one and we'll be good. Okay, grab one of these. Do this. Make it real big. Here we go. Uh, oh, what? what? I accidentally did that. Make it really big. Here we go. Nice. And then place it on. All right, grab it again. Turn it all the way around and leave it sort of like that. That's fine. Obviously, it's a little bit high, but it works. That's okay. Um, okay, so from there then, what do we want to do? I think I want to add these guys to the outside uh, a little bit just here There we go lights. I mean I could add lights to this thing on the top. I think I'm gonna add one. That's okay I'm gonna go ahead and push that down into there. Excellent uh, Utilities I could add utilities on the side as well, but I kind of don't want to uh, These guys on the side would be great So I think I'm actually gonna do that. So that one's gonna go there. This one's gonna go here we need to get the American Star. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. Yeah, so it's actually a lot bigger on this one too, which is kind of what I wanted. There we go, and I'm actually really happy with that. So far, so good. The only thing that it's missing is a big old gun. So we're going to make this 2 meters long. There we go. We're going to make it an 88 millimeter again. Bosh. And we're going to make it by 888. There we go. A little bit different to last time, but still okay, hopefully. Okay, so the length of that is good. Let's go ahead and extend it again, and extend it again, and also add a muzzle brake, which is this one. Okay, fantastic. 
Fan Dabby Dozy. That actually looks really good. So the pen on it is 169. That's fine. And I'm really happy with it. I'm really happy with it. Looks a lot better. It does look a lot better. Um, the other thing is livery. I'm going to go to paint. And I'm going to go ahead and go to this. We're going to make it more green. Don't know whether I necessarily like that, but I did want it to be more green. Uh, and we've managed to do it. So that's kind of all that matters. Okay, let's go ahead and whack these on. They're going to go there. And also here. There we go. And they look lovely. All right, good. I'm happy, guys. I'm happy. So there's a way in and out on the back so you can get in and out of the turret. Very nice. There's some little seats so people up there can sit there. And that is awesome. Anything else that is necessary in there? Maybe one of these. Just in case you need it, I guess. And I'm happy with this. I am most definitely happy with this. Let's make these guys a little bit smaller. Smash them onto there like that. Adds a little bit of extra detail that, again, we probably do need. Um, and I'm happy with it. I am very, very happy with it. Um, lights are already on there. That's all good. Anti-infantry. I guess we could do one of these. So I'm actually going to go ahead and slap that on top of there as well. And I think I'm more pleased with this than I was with the last version of it. Gun still works. I'm happy. Good. Okay, another thing that I actually kind of want to do is try and find the center of this like so. Grab this piece, and I'm going to go ahead and insert this into there, which may or may not look good. I'm not so sure. In fact, drag it out a little bit and angle this piece to uh, the same sort of angle that the other thing's on. Go ahead and drop it down, drop it backwards, and I quite like the idea of keeping that there. I'm going to make it a little bit longer uh, in terms of... Uh, up and down and also a little bit wider too, and I think that actually looks really good I'm gonna keep that like that. Hopefully it turns with the gun. It does. Yeah, that's quite nice. That is quite a nice addition Okay, so we have managed to change this tank from I think like a 16 or 18 ton tank into a 24 and a half uh, Ton tank which is a lot more, uh, but we have made it a mid-war tank instead this time, which is of course uh, different um, It's a little bit later and that should work out for us. So I'm going to call this the American. American. Uh, 25 ton. 25 ton. There you go. American 25 ton. Save. Okay. Let's take this into a battle and see how it does. Oh, actually, before we do that, one of the main issues that we had with this thing was that uh, we couldn't actually control the other guys. So we need to actually add maybe one of these uh, antennas to the top of this like so. I'm going to go ahead and shove it down in there so that it does actually work. And now we can actually control the other guys. With that being said, uh, the driver is also going to be the radio operator. There. I think that's going to be a lot better, actually. So let's save this, uh, get ourselves into a battle, and see what we can do. All right, guys, here we go. Gunner sight is missing. Oh, wait, it doesn't have a gunner sight, this thing? I thought it did. I, I thought this was its gunner sight right there. Never mind. Okay. Firepower. Gunner sight. Yes. Smash this directly above there, just like so. Go. Okay, there are 12 of us versus... I don't know how many enemies there's going to be, but in the end, it's probably like 24, 25. Uh, and that's hopefully going to work out for us. So, let's get ourselves in there, see what kind of damage we can do with this thing, and win the war. Is it going to work? I don't know. Okay, we spawned the first amount of enemies. There is 10. After looking at this uh, turret a little bit more, I kind of feel like I want to extend it backwards. Uh, just a tiny bit more over the engine deck. Whether that's a good or a bad idea, I'm not sure, but I think I want to do it. So I might do that after this uh, little fight. Let's see if we can win this first, and if we can, that'd be great. Uh, if we can't, I don't know what to do, but our tanks are actually moving across here this time, so that's good. Let's go ahead and see if we can uh, kill the enemies. Here we go, line her up, and shoot. Oh, I missed. <laughs> oh, actually, one of the main issues that we had last time as well was actually our um, our ammunition. We had APHE in, and we didn't have any normal AP. Uh, which mean, meant that we couldn't get through the Panther's armor, which was really bad. But, um, yeah. We should be good now. Should be good this time. Alright, let's turn towards these guys. Oh, this guy. I can't actually turn quick enough to shoot him. Oh my, what did he just hit? He just, like, slapped the brakes and just... I don't know, that was weird. Alright, that guy's dead. How many more are left? They've taken out one of my 25-ton tanks. There are three of them remaining, and they are all over there. They do endos when they stop. That's so weird. That's so weird. All right, here we go. Aim down and kill this one. 
There we go. One more. That's this guy right here. Three, two. Oh, he's dead. He's already dead. Turn around. We gotta get into the main fight now. Thirteen big beefy boys are gonna come at us. Let's go ahead and set it for attack. See if we can actually do this. Hopefully we can. I, I, I think we will be able to. Okay, so I'm out and about. I'm moving across the battlefield. Uh, we have taken out all oh, their Tog 2s. I think we got more of a chance against Tog 2s than we did against uh, Panthers, but we'll see. Oh, that one skimmed my tank. Oh, dig oh I'm taking hits. <laughs> I'm taking rounds to the face. Oh, I've been tracked. That's really bad for me because I've just shown my exposed side. No! Okay, my lightly armored side is exposed. That's what I meant to say. All right, here we go. Try and line her up. And three, two, one, fire! Did that miss? Aim a little bit higher. My uh, my allied tanks are actually doing their jobs. So that's good. I'm gonna shoot this guy next, actually. Aim at. I don't know. I feel like that went through that guy. That guy's dead. Okay, change targets. Who's alive? You guys. Okay. I did hit him, but he didn't die. Okay, keep aiming. Fire! I hit him again. I think I tracked that one. Oh my goodness. I am tanking hits. Fire another one. Okay, the one in front of him is dead. I'm still tanking hits this time. I don't know whether I set that on fire or not. Don't think so. Go. I can't kill him. I actually can't kill this one. That's so annoying. Oh, and I... My engine's just been taken out. Apparently my engine is in the front. Oh, that's so annoying. Because I put the vents in, it looks like my engine's in the front. Uh, when realistically the engine would be in the back. That's really annoying. That, that is super upsetty spaghetti. This guy has got his butt towards the enemy. His literal least armored side. Why would you do that? No idea. Um, but we do appear to be winning so far, so this is good. We're winning World War II so far. Let's go ahead and turn our lights on. I like them little demon eyes on the back. They're cool. Anyway, where are the enemies at? There's one all the way out there. Let's try and shoot him first. Aim high. Fire. Wait, I've got no more ammo. This guy's out of ammo. Alright. Why are they aiming that way? I don't understand this game. Attack. I don't- I genuinely don't get it. Attack. Go. That guy is, is just aiming the wrong way. We've got a little graveyard of tanks here too, which is strange. Uh, but yeah, I don't know what's going on. That guy's driving around the wrong direction. Just seems weird. Just seems really weird. Okay, we're back in a position where we should be able to shoot the enemies and win. So, let's get ourselves up here on the hill and see if we can shoot the enemy over there first. Here we go. Aim high and fire. I killed it in one. Excellent. That was a good shot. Who's next? Who's next? Those guys all seem dead. The guys up on the hill are dead. There's three remaining. I don't know where they are. Gonna drive over there and let's see what we can do. Okay, guys, I am pushing forwards at a rate of uh, very, very slow. <laughs> I was gonna say a rate of knots, but actually I don't think I was going a knot. Maybe I was. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and continue in. I genuinely don't know where the last enemies are. They could be on the hill up there. They could be down in the depths of these little mounds. Uh, I don't know. I feel like one of them did slip behind, the one that we were shooting at earlier, uh, that we only seen the turret of. But um, I, I honestly can't see any of them right now, so it's kind of sketching me out. Because if they are on the hill, they will be able to see my weak spot and kill me. If they're not, i got to find them. Okay, I'm coming over a hill now where I think the enemies will be resting at the bottom of. There is one down there. I only see one, though. Uh, that's weird. Okay, uh-oh. Ow, he shot me straight away and I can't aim that low. <laughs> there we go. I had to reverse to actually aim the front of my tank down a little bit. That's a bit of a yikes. Uh, but there was only one in this hole. I see another one. I do see one more, but there must be another guy somewhere around here as well. As well. Okay, I don't know where the last one is, but I see another one. He's over there in this little trench. We'll go over there and we'll try and kill him, and then I genuinely don't know where the last one is. Or are they both in there? They might both be in the trench. If they are, this is fantastic. If they're not, I don't know what to say, but I think we got this. Also, side note, I kind of want to build a tank like the Tog 2. These guys look awesome. They look really, really cool. Is that two tanks or is that just one? I can't even tell. Okay, I'm going to drive up and over. That is two tanks. 
First one's dead. Second one, I need to aim and fire before it shoots me. I don't have enough time. My gun isn't aiming up. There we go. That is lucky. That was very, very lucky. Anyway, um, we did it. We won World War II on the fields map. We won Sprocket World War II. Sprocket fields map. I don't know what the word is. Anyway, we did it. So, I want to say thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys liked the little modification we did. I might do one more modification to this hole uh, that I think would be really, really cool. And uh, we'll go from there. But anyway, for now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.